Hey guys, in this video you'll join me on a journey to uncover the secret of the highest income node in the game. And yes, you heard right, the highest income node in the game. It's pulling in over 10 mil of value a day, which makes it two times as profitable as the next best node. But where could this mysterious node be? I'm actually on my way to this node, but before I reveal it I want to put out a small disclaimer. This is not a get rich quick kind of video and also not a beginner guide, but actually a small introduction to a rather advanced concept in life skilling. So be prepared to be confronted with some new ideas that go beyond the basics of life skilling. Alright, we have arrived. If I open the map, you can see that the mystery node is Kaposha near Sandgrain Bazaar. There's two nodes here and the one we're interested in is the mining node. So let's check out how good the node is. For that we can use Shredder's node profit calculator. Here on the plant zones tab you can see a long list of nodes, their yields and expected income. If we scroll down a bit there's the Kaposha mining node. It says here that one work cycle yields 30 copper ore, 2.55 opal and 4.8 powder of flame. And if we let the worker run for a full day and then sell all the materials to the market we will have made about 4 mil. That's good, but it's not even in the top 10 best nodes. The top spot in that list is taken by Lumberjack's Rest near Trent. So how the heck is Kaposha supposed to be the best node in the game? Well, let's take a closer look at the node materials, specifically the rough opal. If we open the market, you can see that rough opal is sold out, so demand is high. Presumably that's because it can be processed into polished opal and then brilliant opal and finally moonlight opal, which are also in high demand. And it even goes one step further. Moonlight opals are used to craft old moon sensors for house awakening, so that's where all the demand is coming from. But since old moon sensors can't be sold and you can't really profit off them, we're gonna focus on the second to last step in the chain, the moonlight opals. So this is our first insight. Rough opals are used to craft the moonlight opals, which sell for a lot of money and are in demand. This brings us one step further to solving the Kaposha node mystery. Our next lead are the Moonlight Opals. So let's find out how much profit we can make by crafting them. And as always for the profit calculations we're gonna use Videolytics. Here's the recipe for the Moonlight Opals. It takes Brilliant Opals, which we already know, and Metal Solvent. Metal Solvent is not too hard to come by, you can either craft it through Alchemy or buy it straight off the market. Now let's check out the profit of this recipe down here at the bottom. 3 billion an hour, but obviously this is gonna take a lot of opals. And since we have no way of getting brilliant opals, we need to craft them from scratch using rough opals. So in slide number 2, rough opals are the limiting reagent in crafting moonlight opals. And if you look back at the profit, you realize that the processing itself is not what creates this insane profit. Processing here is actually just a means to squeeze the value out of the bottleneck material, the rough opal. I'll show you what I mean by this. If we adjust the price of opals, we can slowly take the processing profit and bake it into the price of the rough opals. And once the profit hits zero, we stop. Here that's at about 84k. So the value of one rough opal is 84k when turned into moonlight opals. And again we can say this because the rough opals are the limiting reagent in this recipe. For this shiny new value of 84k we even have a name, we call it the true value of rough opals. More generally, the true value refers to the value created by using a bottleneck material to craft a product. And if you compare the true value to the market price of rough opals, you see that it's way higher. So in insight number 3, opals have a value much greater than the market price. Their actual value, we call it the true value, is 84k. This concept of valuing items by their use value rather than their market value comes with some strings attached. First, the true value of an item is not fixed. If someone playing on a different region with different market prices calculated the true value, they will get different results than you. So this value is always bound to a certain recipe and market conditions. And second, this way of valuing items only makes sense if the item is a limiting reagent to the recipe, meaning it's sold out on the market. Now that we know just how valuable these opals are, we can understand why this Kaposha node is so damn good. On the worker tool, we can go to the settings tab and plug in the true value of opals as a custom price. 
We don't tax it because we value the rough opals using moonlight opals which are already taxed. And et voila, suddenly the node is at the top of the list. If you take the rough opals from the node and process them into moonlight opals, this node can produce over 10 mil of value a day. And with this we have solved the mystery of what makes the Kaposha node so profitable. Before I let you go, I have to point out a few caveats for the sake of completeness. I'm gonna just slap them here on screen. Also, during the part where we calculated the value of the rough opals, I made my life a bit easy. As you may recall, in the calculation, we adjusted the price of rough opals so that the processing profit hit zero. That means we're giving away our processing time for free. Obviously, that's not quite right. In the time we spent processing opals, we could have been making money by processing something else. So we have to pay for the time used to liquidate the opals to get a clean value for them. For example, if I want to pay myself a certain sum per hour for processing, I can subtract that as a cost from the Moonlight Opal profit before calculating the true value. In this case, that wouldn't change the resulting true value much. But for some recipes, actually valuing the time that goes into liquidating the materials can be a big deal. The takeaway here should be that your time has value, which also affects how we value items. So let's summarize. Opals are produced at the Kaposha node and they're used to craft moonlight opals, for which they are the limiting reagent. The value generated by crafting them into moonlight opals is what we call the true value. And once we consider the true value of rough opals, it makes the Kaposha node extremely profitable. This concept of true values extends to many other life skills. For example, exotic meats and cooking or fruits and alchemy are worth way more than the market may imply. And by knowing the actual value, you will see opportunities to capitalize where others don't. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this little journey, and I'll see you in a future video. Take care!